What's up, everybody? How you guys doing? I'm doing great. I'm actually in a good mood right now. So let's get into it. Dying light here. Whoa. Pretty cool artwork. <clears throat> and a really cool concept of a game, actually. So basically, the shorthand of it is Dead Island, but way better. Um, I wasn't really a fan of Dead Island. Just didn't have much fun playing it. Dying Light, I actually got sucked into. I saw some people, some people streaming on Twitch. And then I thought, oh, that looks kind of fun. And I'm in a stalemate for video games right now. Just kind of like, I don't know what to buy next. So I said, okay, get Dying Light. I got evolved, didn't really like Evolve. Push the Dying Light. And I had fun. I liked it. I enjoyed it. Um, 15 story missions. Whole whole bunch of side quest missions. You can actually get caught up doing the side quest missions because they'll give you more XP for your skills. They'll give you cash. They'll give you um, supplies for crafting. They'll give you um, blueprints for crafting. Whole bunch of stuff. And honestly, the story isn't bad. There is a whole bunch of dialogue. Oh. And I only found two things I didn't really like about the game. Side quests, because there's so many, so that's kind of like, eh, to me. Um, I didn't really get, I got sucked into the side quests for a while, but I gave up on them and went, no, I'm just going to do the story right now. And of course, the ending is open-ended, so you can come back and do all your side quests. Run around and smash zombie face. Um... What else do I want to talk? Oh, and then the ending. I personally don't like when video games do this. I get the open ending. I'm fine with that. Maybe they'll make Dying Light 2. I don't know how they'll do it, but probably. Um, but they do the ending where it's a cutscene. Basically a cutscene where you watch the screen and then the A flashes up and you gotta push A. Push A. And then you get a little dialogue, and then you gotta push B. And then you get a little more dialogue, and then you gotta push Y. And then you get a little more dialogue, and then you push X. And then you get a little more dialogue, and then you push X. And then you get some more dialogue, and then you push A. And then you push B. And then you push Y. And then you push X. And then, oh, you're smashing A. And then, oh, oh, look, it's over. I personally don't like when video games do that. To me, that's, cause then, oops. I didn't push A in time, now I got one shot, now I gotta do it all over again. Fun. Very fun. Um, that's the only thing I like about it, though. If it didn't have that perfect, super fun game, um, I didn't dive into the multiplayer, sorry. I'm not much of a multiplayer guy. Um, <clears throat> but I'm sure it's great. You could play as a zombie, which I actually kind of want to try, but I don't know. Because, for me, multiplayer, it's like, I don't want to jump on and hear all the people, blah, 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 you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? I don't really want to swear right now, but you know what I mean. I don't want to hear the people, and I don't really have friends on Xbox One. I'll put it out there. A lot of my friends still have Xbox 360, so... Um, would I buy Dying Light for 60 bucks? I did, but I got it for 30 kind of. 30 bucks cash out of my pocket, but I also uh, traded a game in and got 30 bucks, so. 30 bucks is worth it, maybe 40 is worth it, uh, 50, 60, 60, or 50 if you're into the multiplayer, so I'm sure you could do that. If you're a completionist, 60 bucks, why not, you'll be there for a while. Um, that's, I don't really want to do ratings like 1 to 10, maybe 7. Yeah, probably seven, I'd say. Just for the things I didn't like. Um, it looks great. Graphics are awesome. Story's good. A lot of dialogue, though, for side quests or just when you're out in the open world, talk to a survivor and you talk to the guy and he keeps talking. Um, so, yeah, seven or eight. One of those. Um, yeah, sorry I'm not the best reviewer. 
Uh, that's just my thoughts and opinions. Um, go pick it up if you want. If you got extra 60 bucks, if you got some games lying around that you're like, yeah, I'm done with these. Trade them in. Get some cash for it. Pick up that in light. Play the crap out of it. And then rinse repeat. Um, peace out, everybody. I will be taking this to GameStop tomorrow and picking up the new Dragon Ball Z game because who don't like that? Um, I've heard good things about it, so I'm going to check that out. And, um, yeah, probably review that too. Not sure though. Probably not. And, uh, I might pick up some kid, kid, <laughs> computer games for, um, to stream on Twitch. Maybe Darkest Dungeon. Maybe Ace of the One. Leaning towards Darkest Dungeon though, so. We'll see. Um, if you know any funny computer games that are around 20 bucks or less, hit them in the comments. Let me know. Um, yeah. Peace out. Check me out on Twitch and all that other stuff if you want to. If not, it's cool. I get it. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up. All that other good stuff. Peace. Sometimes I gotta wonder why I'm here. Yet everything is too overwhelming. I just cross you up my